Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz. U.S. forces are in Haiti to provide relief in the wake of the devastating earthquake. Navy ships USS Carl Vinson, Higgins, Normandy, Gunston Hall, Carter Hall, and Underwood are all off the coast. More than 1,400 military personnel are on the ground, and more than 4,000 personnel are supporting from ships. Maritime forces have distributed more than 20,000 rations of food since Tuesday. Carl Vinson delivered more than 30 pallets of food, almost 200,000 bottles of water, and received seven Haitian patients on board. Higgins, Normandy, and Underwood provide logistical support, helicopters, and small boat support. One of the key capabilities we have, obviously, is they marked helicopters. And in a mission like this, the mobility that they provide and the capabilities that they provide, that will be heavily used. We also have a lot of command and control capabilities. We have an excellent communication suite. These ships, aircraft, and landing craft form a sea base, helping to move supplies ashore. Transfer of uh, personnel, uh, search and rescue capability, uh, transfer of uh, food and water uh, to, the, uh, to the affected areas. Navy ships USS Bataan, Fort McHenry, and hospital ship USNS Comfort are en route to Haiti. Bataan has embarked Marines from the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit and four water treatment units to make water. Military Sea Lift Command ships are providing replenishment at sea, oceanographic survey, and port repairs. The president issued an executive order recalling members of the selected and individual ready reserve to active duty. The CNO released a podcast on the Navy's relief efforts in Haiti. Read the story and listen to the podcast at Navy.mil. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz.